Hello, so I am back again outside. I'm really embracing this weather. It's sunny. I got out of bed. I didn't get out of bed earlier. I was gonna say I got out of bed earlier. I didn't. So the other day I tweeted saying the weirdest thing had just happened to me and honestly it was possibly the weirdest thing that has ever happened to me before. And I said in that tweet that I couldn't fit it into 140 characters. So today I am here to explain the weirdest thing that has ever happened to me and probably the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me. Enjoy! <laughs> I'm gonna set the scene. Basically, me and my mum were walking around Asda. We were doing a shopping. We were just doing what we normally do when you do Asda and you do shopping. And I was like, oh shit. Like, literally, oh shit. My belly feels a little weird. Oh my god, there's a bee. Oh my god. Before we carry on, I just want to point out that I have a massive, like, phobia of public toilets. And there's something about public toilets that I'm like. Just a little uneasy wave, like I can't do my business in a public toilet. It's like some sort of stage fright. I just really don't like public toilets, so the thought of having to go to a public toilet when my belly felt this weird, I was like, hmm, I'm just gonna wait. No, 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 I was not gonna wait. Little did I know that, oh shit, was ready to be like, oh, ow, let's get it out. And I had to go to a public toilet. After a full like inspection of the hygiene of this toilet, I sat down and I just sat there for a good 5, 10, 15 minutes just on my phone, trying to get rid of these nerves. Like, I was really nervous, so I was like on Snapchat and stuff. My body finally started doing its stuff, and like, I was like, okay, this is not as bad as I thought it was. Oh shit. Oh my god, there's a spider on me. That was close. And then the door opened, so I was like, oh shit. Trying to be all secret and trying to be quiet like I weren't even in this stall. I even lifted my feet up so the person couldn't see my feet as they walked past. I was like super spy shit and I was like hiding from just random people in the toilet. And then I see some little shoes walk past the bottom of the stall. So I'm like, phew, it's not some monster. It's not someone who's going to come in and attack me. It's just a little boy. Oh shit. I heard him go in the stall next to me and then come out, wash his hands. And I was like, okay, he's left. So I put my feet back down on the floor and tried to continue with my business. Well, little did I think that boy had left. And then he knocked on the door. Oh shit. I felt like the scene from Little Mermaid where the Ursula takes Ariel's voice. That is how I felt because even though I wanted to say something, I was just really scared of this little child. And this little boy's knocking on the toilet door and I'm there like... So at this point I'm thinking, okay, this boy really wants to get in this stall. Like, what does he want? Is he just checking to see if like, someone's in here does he think i'm his dad like i'm not daddy so bye child but what i did do to try and give this boy a signal to let him know that someone was in this stall is i started rattling the toilet paper holder like i was push messing around the toilet paper in the metal holder thing and it was making a lot of noise so you knew that someone were in so i'm there knocking it around the boy still stood there and then i'm like shit there's no toilet roll in here anymore <sighs> If you thought this story could not get any worse, then just like skip to the end because it's about to get worse. Like, I was rattling the toilet roll, little did I know that I was pushing it off and it actually fell onto the floor and rolled out of the stall. So now I'm sat doing my business, well I was doing my business until this little boy came all over in my space and started knocking on the door. Now I've got another toilet roll and I'm kind of like, stuck. Oh shit, I'm kind of stuck shitting in a public toilet with a little boy watching. Oh shit. Do I flush myself down the toilet? Like, do I get in the toilet and flush it? Like, will I fit through the pipes? All this stuff's going through my head and I'm like, oh shit. I'm sat here thinking, okay, has that boy gone? Like, I ain't heard the door go, but his feet aren't there anymore. Like, what am I gonna do? So there I am with my limb hanging out of the stall, trying to hook this toilet roll in. And then I heard the boy laughing. He's still in the bathroom. Like, what, what the fuck? This boy's still in the bathroom. <laughs> Then I saw the little boy's hand touch the floor of the stall next to his feet and I was thinking, Lord Jesus Christ, please just stop this now. Like, I've had enough. Like, I will not do things bad. I will be a good person. I'm already going to hell. Like, is this just a test? Is this just a trial of hell? Like, please just get me out of this situation. I'm thinking, what could this boy possibly want? Like, he's been knocking on the door. He's been laughing at me. He's just basically mocking me. And now he's put his hand on the stall and it looks like he's about to crawl under. And then he does. That is literally what he does. It's like a scene off grudge. Like, I saw this boy 
put his hands on the floor and like crawl under the stall thing, like put his head under the put his head back and I was just like some weird eye contact and I still didn't say anything and he was just like why is there a child crawling under my stall? This is where it comes apparent to me that I literally overthink every single situation as it's happening, after it's happened, before it's even happened because the boy then pulls out the toilet roll and just hands it to me like he literally wanted to give me the toilet roll all this time and I was too scared to open the door so he resorted in like crawling under my stall like grudge like I literally thought I were in grudge where the woman's like Eeeh. I honestly don't know what was happening it reminded me a lot of the scene from Spongebob where there's a hash slinging slasher person and there's that man that comes to while Spongebob's on and he's like got the spatula in his hand but it looks like the hashling is slasher with the spatula for a hand and then in the end all he wanted was a Krabby Patty and all that boy wanted to do was give me the toilet roll but because I was too scared like I'm sure there were, could have been other ways that he could have given me that toilet roll like instead of just knocking and laughing like <laughs> oh shit if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up now I'm probably never going to step foot in a public bathroom again, so just give it a thumbs up. I will see you next week. I love you all lots. I don't know why I'm still doing this. Like, mm. But yeah, I love you all lots and I will see you next week with another new video. Until then, I love you all and goodbye. But, oh wait, I did what? Uh, I fucked up. Bye. <laughs>